And now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are coming to worship him. When Herod the king had heard of these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and the scribes and people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem in the land of Judah, art now the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor, and shall rule my people Israel. And Herod, when he had privy, called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had all heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with unceasing joy. And when they came into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they opened the treasures, they presented unto him gifts of gold, frankincense, and I guess before I let them play, I should t remind you who they are. These are our friends from Whitestone, Holy Trinity's Inspiration Group. Special guest performers today.
Casper Fenari from Holy Family introduced me to that song. Just how many parishes can we involve today? Um, we're, we're, right now we're going to put the free and free will offering, so we are going to take a collection at this free program. And the next song, uh, you're stuck with me singing in the uh, interesting position of having my back to you, but that's okay. Some say it's my best side. <laughs> Glory of the nation. 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him, nothing came to be. What came to be through Him was life, and this life is the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believed in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by man's decision, but of God. And the Word became flesh, and made his dwelling among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace 